Welcome to video number five in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGahey, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 80 countries on six continents. The guts of the tourism industry are its four operational sectors transportation, attractions, accommodations, and food and beverage. They are the major components of the business side of the tourism stakeholders triangle. Transportation and attractions are referred to as the travel side of tourism, while accommodations and food and beverage are known as the hospitality side. All four operational sectors are critical to creating a positive tourism experience. Transportation is the to-go part of the four operational sectors. Transportation is essential because tourists need a means of conveyance to get from their home to a destination, travel around it, move on to other destinations, and then return home. Transportation is either by surface or air. Surface transportation is mostly by cars, buses, trains, and ships, while air travel is by airplanes and helicopters, although rockets are now being developed for space tourism. Attractions are the to-do part of the four operational sectors. Although tourism cannot exist without transportation, in my opinion, attractions are the most important operational sector. Without attractions, people would not be motivated to go anywhere. They would be content just to stay at home. As Newton stated, a body at rest tends to stay at rest unless acted upon by external forces. Attractions are those external forces for tourists and they make the other three operational sectors relevant. My definition of attractions is quite broad. It's anything that makes a place interesting enough to visit and stay a while. Attractions are based on two types of resources, natural and cultural, which includes man-made and built attractions. Natural attractions range from beaches and mountains to sunshine and flora and fauna. Cultural attractions range from performing and fine arts and architectural marvels to festivals and local lifestyles. Accommodations, also known as lodging, are the to sleep part of the four operational sectors. They are essential for tourists unless they plan to return home each night or sleep under a tree. Accommodations come in many forms, ranging from hotels, motels, resorts, and inns to lodges, bed and breakfast, hostels, and campgrounds where you can sleep under a tree. The main purpose of accommodations is to provide a good night's sleep for travelers, but at minimum they also provide a place to relax, store belongings, and use bathroom facilities. Many also provide food service, entertainment, business and fitness centers, and in the case of resorts, multiple activities that are the focus of the stay. Food and beverage, or F&B for short, is also known as food service. This is the to eat part of the four operational sectors. Food and beverage is essential unless tourists want to carry all their provisions with them or return home when they get hungry or thirsty. F&B plays two important roles. One is physiological. It provides the fuel that tourists need to stay healthy and enjoy their travels. The other is social. It provides the setting for socializing with family and friends or with fellow travelers and local residents. Food and beverage is a major attraction for many tourists who visit specific destinations to enjoy their specialties, such as fondue in Switzerland, sushi in Japan, and beer in Germany. It is also a major expenditure for tourists and a major employer, with jobs ranging from entry-level unskilled positions to restaurant managers and professional chefs. Culinary tourism makes F&B the central theme of travels, that include cooking classes, wine tours, gourmet dining, and various festivals and events. As a tourism consultant in various places around the world, I have often had to explain the merits of developing tourism to government officials and other community leaders. I would tell them I could explain the basics of the tourism industry to them in 30 seconds. They would normally smile and say, okay. I would then explain the four operational sectors of tourism and the four infinities that go with them in about 30 seconds. Then they would smile again and acknowledge that from their development perspective, they could now visualize tourism scope and importance. 
A true tourism destination is characterized by the availability of all four of the operating sectors, and highly successful destinations excel in the delivery of quality service in all four of them. My bet is you can think back on your own positive and negative experiences in several of tourism's operating sectors. Now I invite you to watch video number six, Transportation. Thank you.